Well, I think it's concerning because we're looking at it in hindsight. That's Fargo Police Chief reflecting on what some feel were warning signs about the Fargo Police shooter, Muhammad Barakai. It was six months ago Sunday that he ambushed officers, killing Officer Jake Willene, injuring three others. Today, Valley News team Zoe Jones spoke with Chief Zabolski about what we learned in these newly unsealed documents and what's next for the department. After new documents were unsealed earlier this week, discussions around the tragedy that took place on July 14th of 2023 have picked up yet again. More specifically about the shooter, Mohamed Barakat, and his past. I'm sure it was a little bit new for the public, but again, it was um, a lot of what we have talked about previously. The documents revealed that someone had reported Barakat to the FBI in the past, concerned he would harm others, and that Barakat had been asked to leave a shooting range just months before the July ambush for shooting the explosive Tannerite. Uh, looking back at it, you would go, oh yeah, that's interesting. You know, that's a it's, it's only a red flag now. It's not a red flag then other than it's weird and it's odd, but we as uh, police officers can't really take any action on that. Fargo Police Chief David Zabulski says the findings weren't released earlier because they were part of an investigation being conducted by the North Dakota Bureau of Criminal Investigation, or BCI. There's things that uh, we certainly want to allow them to complete because otherwise it, it can affect the veracity of their investigation or the information they obtain. Uh, and so that's, that's law enforcement sensitive information until the investigation is complete and it's formally released. While these new documents are shining a little more light onto the shooter's past, there are still several questions unanswered, with the main one being why. I think the toughest part is you look at all that, you can see some of the issues that were going on, but you still can't really answer the question of why did he end up deciding that this is what he wanted to do at the end of the day. It's been almost six months since that day, and Chief Zabulski said that while it's still heavy on their hearts, they're doing their best to continue moving forward. We did everything we could in that particular situation. No one could have done anything better uh, or more, and we have to accept that and move on. In Fargo, Zoe Jones, Valley News Live. Chief Zabolski said these documents serve as a reminder that if you see something odd or concerning, call it in. You may be helping in a case in the future.